contest. This is the second quarter-final that we'll be watching on table one. Did five, and the quarter-final, big improvement. But we know she has the pedigree. Top 20 in the world earlier in her career. We'll see her game down. How well does she play against the attacking player? There's the stats on Bernadette Sox. 23 years of age, 26 in the world, seeded number four. And the crowd getting quite excited about the fact that we're going to see Bernadette Sox in action again. And now at this tournament is the quarterfinals of the women's singles. This is huge. Bernadette Sox to serve. Let's go. And there you go, Don. You did say, how is she going to respond to backspin? She's got to get used to it. Get the feeling. But Lee Quinn, a fantastic player. Very good defender. Very consistent, as you can see here already. Bernadette Sox, an absolute true fighter. And give 100%. That's a great forehand. Bringing it in and out. Good play against the defence. Bringing it in. Then top spinning it back out. Really good stuff. Classic tactics against the defender. Fast top spins, keep them away from the table, bring them in with the short play, the drop shot. Oh, that was a very good attack there by Lee. I think one of the key factors here is Can Chan is away from the table. She's varying the spin. She's sometimes putting the ball back with no spin, we call that the float. I think it's heavy backspin, backspin again. And every now and again, she sends one back with no spin. And the float ball hard, but you have to go forwards. What you mustn't do is lift when there's no spin on the ball. So it's early days, two points apiece. And Chan Lee. Well, that was good retrieving by Sox. But already the side. And the world-class defensive player turning defence into attack whenever she gets the opportunity, as we see on the tape there. Absolutely, Lee Quinn, 4-2 lead. Doing well so far. There's chopping with the pimples, good for him. Bernie there, she went... Ooh, miss serve there from Lee Quinn. That's a rarity. <laughs> and Sox misread it. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Better that push to the pimples there, and it's still a very, very tricky opponent. Oh. Yeah, that's brilliant. See, Don, about this match here, the interesting thing, oh, and it's a bit passive. Quinn is in on top of it with a strong forehand, and that's why she's such a great, dangerous player. knows that if they play a soft shot or they play a, a push mid-table that the defender will just turn defence into attack in a flash. If you're playing a defender who can't attack, you know they're going to just return the ball and start again. If you play a soft ball here, then there, exactly, we saw it there. Lee Chan straight in with the topspin. Serves with the reverse side of the racket, she'll turn that round. There we go, the red side now, the pimpled side is on the backhand side. Good for generating heavy spin. And that was a good example, that was heavy problems against the heavy backspin. Well, oh, that time though, she read it well. Not as much spun the first one well, and then bang, there you go. Straight flight. Don said you've got to read it, you've got to read them. Pick the right one, shot selection is absolute key here for the attacker from Romania. Good. Whoa, there is that attack. Backhand attack as well. Oh, and it sucks. It's fallen over. Seems all right. She's back up. And let's just look at that shot again. Bang. Oof. 
Things look okay. We're back in play. One set point saved. She wants to get through this quarterfinal. Again, there we see the black side, the reverse side. Good for varying the spin. Changes the back round now with the pimples on the backhand side. Very good for putting backspin on the ball, particularly when your opponent top spins to you. She fell over earlier, but she looks as though she's absolutely fine. And she's now just one point adrift at the business end of this first game. But there it is. World-class attacking player. I was just like a top-class attacking player there. Short serve, strong topspin. And I think Bernadette Sox is going to be in for a real battle here, Dan. She certainly is, Don. She's got a big fan base here. She's got a lot of people behind her. But fair play to really struggle against someone like Bernadette Sox. Because of that variation, it's keeping Bernie guessing. And fantastic. You can see the backspin on this slow motion here and that forehand smash to win the point. Really impressive performance. Opening game there from Lee Quinn. A great player, number four seed here, Bernie. So let's see what happens in this second set. Let's see if she can handle the backspin and variation to make it difficult for Lee Quinn. That's a good serve. Using the black side again, the smooth side for us getting the spin. Pause. Read the spin well there, took the smash on. Two on, Sox in the lead. And she socks then, who varied the spin, threw a couple up with not a lot of spin on. And the score now 3 1 in favour of Bernadette Sox. Again, a great smash. An absolute great start here. Retreat variation to Bernadette Sox, making it difficult, very unpredictable. Yeah, chop there with float. Look for. That's a great question. I think you've got to look very carefully at the point of contact when bat meets the ball. If it goes under the ball with a fast accelerating action, then you know there's heavy speed. But then players, as soon as they've hit the ball, they do something funny with the bat, and it's it's almost like the hand of a magician that's doing things, and it's that quick. It's very difficult to read the spin, but in principle, there is the slight possibility that you can look at the markings on the ball. And if when the ball's coming towards you, if the defender's away from the table, you can actually see the ball whizzing round, and then you know that's heavy backspin. If you can't see the ball with here to be rotated, that's high-risk strategy, but some players can actually see the ball spinning round just before they make contact. And I have to say, she was down, she's pulled it back to 6-5, and again, Dan, I do feel the current batch of Romanian players are fantastic players, but I do think they are happier against attacking players than they are against defensive players. Maybe. Yes, Don, the, yeah, good point. You are right there. I've seen Bernadette Sox defeat Feng Ten Wei, who's one of the best players in the world, a, a pure attacking player. So this is a huge challenge here for Bernie, but a great forehand there. She can do it, but it's that consistency. Attacks. Let's have another look here. Bang, straight through, top of the bounce. She read the float ball there to when you play against defenders of this level. So good pushing here from Bernie. Good spin. So push bringing her back in. Oh, a bit of fortunate luck there. Bernadette not happy there, frustrated. You see the frustration there. Important set, this one. Doesn't really want to go 2-0 down. Good stuff from Lee Quinn, though, again, varying it. Fantastic play right now.
Oh, that's a great point. Head Take a 2 0 lead. And only one was needed. There we go. Quinn takes a 2 0 lead over Bernadette Sox. Very good defensive skills at the moment. Playing very well. Bernie's just. Of course, the massive advantage for Lee is that she can turn defense into attack. And Sox. And she's in. Look, here she is. She's the defender. Is the girl in the red shirt? Just to remind you, and she's the one up to the table, hitting the ball hard. Then she drops away, and she butchered that ball there. You could see the wrist just coming underneath the ball. In there with the pimples, just the Romanian players. There's no defender among the squad, and of course, if you've got a defender in your squad, then that basically means when you're on a training camp, when you're practicing together, you always have defense to practice again. Just I know I'm going back a long time when Jill won the European Championship. She beat a Romanian defender in the final, Maria Alexandru. And then, of course, the Romanian team were very strong against backspin because they practiced with Maria Alexandru, a world class defensive player. So I think a lot of it is about how you structure your training. How Let's see how Sox goes. One all in the third game, but she's 2 0 down. That touch. Oh. Can she find it? It's a good serve. Win there. Just chiseling the ball with backspin. Very good from Quinn there. Not only is she the Quinn. Jeez, here we go. 5-1. It's not easy out there. It's not, and the bottom line here is Sox is having problem picking out the heavy backspin from the ball with very little backspin on it. The float. So she's not picking out the float. Backspin, backspin. And then there we saw a classic example. Of Lee, so if she plays a softball, then she's going to be facing a lethal attacking player. Heavy backspin on the serve, can't afford to make errors on the return of serve. But but what's on Sox's mind there is if she just plays safe on the return of serve, then Lee is going to attack. So she's under pressure to make a, a tight defensive player. Great rally, well played Sox. Point and a timeout called by the Polish coach. He clearly senses what we're saying up here, Dan, that Sox is just getting... Oh. That's brilliant play from Bernadette Sox there. Forced the error, as we can see here, good spin blocked it off and that's what it's all about when you're playing defenders you it's loaded that's brilliant play took the first through there will be float high ball bang going cross court win the point fist pump my point I feel like Don Bernadette's really in the zone right now and really found her way in this match now she's more comfortable with the play that Fantastic point. Keeping the ball around the table, using the push, bringing her into the table. There she is, just keeping it tight. And all of a sudden she'll go for the top spin, but there, a pushing error from Lee. In the lead. And I think we'll see Lynn shots from the Polish player. And it'll be three games to nil.
Oh, there we saw it. Very consistent defending on both wings. And left it on the bench, that's for sure. There he is, he's up. And the, no spin round by Bernadette Sox. Oh, that's good play. The streak of the night so far. Super play. That is one great streak. Point saved by Sox. Alternate serving now. The first player to win two clear points. There it is again. A huge show screen to the crowd. 11 10. Set point for Sox. Say. We're tied at 11 all. Touch straight in the middle, yeah. So set point for Lee Quinn. Spin up. Clinch this third game. She's in with a very, very good chance. 2 1. And it's going to be tapping shots. Oh, she attacked well there. And what a return of one of the smashing. Oh. And we can have a look at that again. Just watch some of these shots here. Look at that. That's a great attack. The forehand tops bit out wide to the Sox four live. 13 points each. And that was heavy backspin. Bernadette Sox. So the number four seed hanging on in there. 14. Serve into the body. And she's done it. And we have a streak to a company victory. Fox wins the third game. And it is now two games to one. Can she make it all the way? Dan, what do you think? Well, great question, Don. And that set there was absolutely incredible from both players. But Bernadette Sox managed to keep her composure in the right points, and that's absolutely key her, for her. her. Impressive earlier on in the set to put the more pressure on Bernadette, like that shot there. She tried going for the forehand, but great play from Bernadette. Interestingly, Don, I've got the head-to-head -head here between Bernadette and Lee Quinn. In their first two matches, Lee Quinn won both. However, recently, last year at the European Cup, Bernadette, she's still eating her energy bar. What's your take, Don? If she applies herself, the Romanian player there on screen, I think can get back into this quarterfinal. She demonstrated there, she, she has the ability to do so. She now has to have the tenacity to apply those tactics, the patience to play long rallies, to work hard. Don't expect to win the point. She has to be careful, but she didn't quite attack as much as I would have liked to see had I been the coach in the corner. So I think we might see Lee look to attack a bit more, provided she's got the confidence. But of course, once she gets into a top spin, Lee top spin, then it's dangerous. But there she worked the attack well, she constructed the point well, and the smash down wins Lee the point.
Here's the smash. There it goes. The Sox forehand. Good topspin into the body of Lee. Then a fast one into the body. Paid dividends for Sox. Two points apiece. Force there there from Lee Quinn. She went for the attack. Focused. Good push there, bringing Lee Quinn back in. Oh! Just over hitting the ball. And in the slow motion there, she runs in. I think if Lee Quinn went for a bit more top spin on that ball, it would have landed. An awkward position. There's a, good, there's a prime example of play really well. Slight unforced error from Bernadette. Rally there, Leah with the reactions there. And that was the third strong attacking shot. Yeah. Again, you see the heavy backspin. Realise how heavy the backspin was. Yeah. And certainly, we're seeing the. Last pressure. 9-4. Oh, good return. Oh, great rally. Lee Quinn so consistent. It's 4-2 up in this set. Lee Quinn has won the last. That's quite very well. Maybe use that in the next game. She's still in it here, 10 5. Okay, another good forehand from Bennett. Serving for a 3 1 lead. Oh. And the heavy back's been deep into Sock's backhand. She should have lifted a fraction more, but now. A mountain to climb for Bernadette Sock. She's 3 1 down. And this draw is opening up for Lee. She probably hasn't got one eye on the next table. Where the other quarter final in this half of the draw is taking place. Sabina Vinter is playing. And traditionally, the Polish lady is not quite as strong against defence. But of course, it would be an all Poland semi final. So, of course, if Grzybowska practices with Lee, opening up for Grzybowska, but at the moment, Poland three match points on table number two. And on the featured game on table one, it's all going well for Lee Chan. There she is. Number 28 in the world, has been the top 20 player in the world. Seeded number 5, 32 years of age. She's looking the favourite now. And there, the, the no spin. The opponent will push. And of course, when you push a float, it tends to pop up. And then in you come with the smash. Exactly what happened with that point. And now has her two serves to come. I think we've both enjoyed commentating when Bernadette Sox has been played, playing very entertaining to watch. In front of her now, Dan. 
Yeah, she sure does. It's not been easy. Li Chan has been playing some remarkable stuff. But Bernadette is a fighter. She can try and get back into this. The set she won. Touch. Yeah, it's good. Li Quinn's really... That's brilliant play. Putting the pressure on Sox. 4-1. Brilliant stuff. Interesting there. Don when Sox played right into the crossover point. She got a loose ball. There it there. High it pops up. Smash through. And found the middle again. Always a good We're looking there at a real fighter. But she's 3-1 down, 4-2 down in points in this fifth game. The timeout was called to break the momentum of Lee. Two consecutive points for Sox. Can she keep the momentum going now? Put together a good run of points. Fast topspins into the body. A couple of smashes wide to the forehand. And it's four points apiece. Not sure what happened there. I think the back of the topspin down the line wasn't intentional from Sox. And then Lee, I'm not sure what she did, but somehow she managed to get a lot of backspin on the ball and keep it fairly tight. This is an interesting point. I think sometimes the defender, once you get into that situation, back to the backspin. Tom Lee. And as always, it's the black side of the racket, the smooth side, the reverse side more variation in spin using that side but it's just a little bit more difficult to control the ball sitting at the right time and watching out for that float ball yeah. oh it's a fantastic point there from Lee Chan who it is again managed to get that forehand from her middle out wide Sox couldn't quite get there. Staying close to the table, but the angle was just too much. Big fist pump there from Sox. She's five. Seven points each. Oh, that's a fantastic play there. Used the blacks to aggressively push through and Sox forced the error. 8-7. No! Again another. That's wonderful positive play from Lee there. We do call her the defensive play, but it's a little bit of a misnomer because even though she's away from the table defending, she's actually varying the spin, looking to attack when she can. And those last two returns where she just pushed it viciously with great shots. And of course, the extra he's up and down like a, a jack in the box. Wonderful to see. But three match points now for Lee. And there it is, the float ball, the one with no spin. Top spin off the end of the table. We saw that so often in this quarter-final, and now we have an all-Poland semi-final. Poland guaranteed a bronze medal and guaranteed at least a silver medal. Well played, Li Qian. Confirmation of her 4-1 victory there on the screen. And I think Dan, on the night, the best player won. Yeah, I couldn't agree more there. Look at the delight there, the coach hugging Li Qian. Look at that, passion. And yeah, like you said, there, Don.
fantastic play there's her teammates come in celebrations all round she played really well attacked well did great variation maintained her composure in the most important points of the set really really impressive stuff there's that backhand punch there going to that socks fell on the floor but she's okay very fast attacking play there. The player's got so much variation. See that backspin there, it's absolutely loaded with spin. Number five seed, Lee Chan. She can go all the way. Very good player, lots of variation. And that fist pump there from Bernadette. She'll be back for more. She's only 23 years of age. We'll see her again soon. Great highlights from the quarterfinal. And there it is, arms raised. Lee.